Welcome to tonight's show. I'm Julia Sanders. We have with us Dr. Richard Feynman, a world-renowned physicist. He is well known for his work in the path integral formulation of quantum mechanics, the theory of quantum electrodynamics, and the physics of the superfluidity of supercooled liquid helium. Dr. Feynman, it is a pleasure to have you here with us. Thank you, Julia. It's good to be here today. You have an impressive list of accomplishments, Doctor. Thank you. I have a question for you. It is one that my son asked me the other day. I don't feel I was able to answer it properly and was hoping you could help me. Why, certainly. It is a question to do with physics, I would hope. Absolutely. He asked me why do the same poles of two different magnets repel each other? I cannot answer that. You can't answer that? No. <laughs> Dr. Feynman, you are a Nobel Prize winning physicist. I am. So why, then? It is a valid question. It is an excellent question. Okay. <laughs> Work with me here, Doctor. It is very interesting. The problem is, how does one answer why something happens? I don't follow you. When you answer a why, you must be in some sort of a framework that allows for some things to be true. Otherwise, you are perpetually answering an endless series of why questions. For instance, I may say to you that I slipped on some ice. Now, you understand that ice is slippery. But, what if you ask me why is ice slippery? Well, I could say to you that the pressure you exert on it momentarily causes the ice to melt, so in fact, when you begin to slip, you are actually sliding on a very thin sheet of water. You may ask, why does this happen with ice and not another substance? I would then say, because ice expands when it freezes. And when you compress it, you force it back into a liquid. Other substances contract when they turn into a solid. And so, any additional pressure does not cause them to change. Why does water expand, you ask? Well, because electrical charges aligning the water molecules in a crystal lattice make them require more physical space than when they are in their free-flowing liquid state. Again, you can ask why. Why do they line up that way? Now, we are at the same question that we were at with the magnets. That is to say, because like-minded charges repel. So why do they do that? Without a framework. All I can say is that they repel. You are standing on the floor, and you don't ask whether you will fall through it. The reason you don't ask this is because you accept it to be true. Repulsion of similar charges between the molecules of your feet against those of the floor stop you from falling through it. It is that very same assumption of like charges repelling when talking about an ice crystal lattice, or the two magnets. Now, you may ask, why with the magnets, do I feel a force at a distance? It's the same principle at work. Only that with a magnet, the electrons of the iron atoms are spinning in the same direction, so the forces are made much stronger. But at its essence, it's those very same forces, that prevent you, from falling through the floor. If we can accept it true that you will not fall through the floor, then we must also hold it true that like charges repel. That is not a very good answer, Doctor. I apologize, but I really can't explain that repulsion in anything else that is familiar to you. So I cannot give you an answer other than that they do. It is what we label a fundamental force. 
which really is a fundamental assumption that we must make in order for us to understand and interact with our world. So that's it then? Yes, I'm afraid so. I am curious. What was the answer that you gave to your son? I told him that they just do. Excellent. See, you answered the question perfectly. Ah. Uh, we will now take a break to hear a message from our sponsors.